Hey guys, welcome back to Clever. You know me, I'm Katie. This is of course Deidre. Hi guys. Tons of breaking Amanda Bynes news today. Yeah. Currently on a 5150 hold uh, in we think Thousand Oaks, California. We have exclusive photos, exclusive details. I know you have someone on site at the house right now where yes. she started a fire. Yes. What What is going on? We actually have a source on the scene at the unfortunate place where this arson fire incident occurred, you guys. Somebody who's there sent us over these photos. We're gonna put them up on the screen for you right now so you can take a look. You can see obviously on the driveway there's ash stains and there's lots of black and obvious residue from the smoke. Basically what had happened is apparently exclusive sources tell Clever News that a neighbor in indicated that she had bought gas at the station on the corner in this Thousand Oaks neighborhood. Right off Los Arbolas? Right off Avenida de Los Arbolas. Avenida de Los Arbolas. And said that she bought gas at the station and started the fire. So basically she went to this poor elderly woman, TMZ is crediting the woman who lives in this home as being elderly, and Amanda apparently had this little red gas can and she started a fire on the woman's driveway. We're not exactly sure what the motive is. So apparently the cops knocked on this poor elderly woman's door and they asked her, quote, do you know anyone by the name of Amanda Bynes or why she would have some vendetta against you? And of course the woman said no, she has absolutely no idea whatsoever about what's going on or why someone, let alone Amanda Bynes, would start a fire in her driveway. We're Such talking- odd eccentric behavior. We're talking like really, really dangerous. Arson arson. I mean, the poor woman's house could have burned down if things got out of hand. Well, but this is just the tip of the iceberg and this is the most recent news kind of surrounding Amanda's chaotic behavior. Should we take it back a little bit and kind of start um, last Thursday when more interesting news started to break? Yeah, really fast. I just wanted to let them know that we have reached out to several hospitals yes. in the area trying to figure out where exactly Amanda Bind is. I mean, we've reached out to uh, Simi Valley, Newberry Park, West Hills, Los Robles, Los Robles Hospital Robles. in Thousand Oaks, which is very close to her. We actually reached out to the uh, Ventura County Sheriff's Department who sent us over a statement. I'm going to read it really fast. Amanda Bynes was involved in a disturbance in a residential neighborhood last night in Thousand Oaks in the 200 block of Avenida de los Arbolas. Deputies investigated the incident and determined that she met the criteria of 5150 WNI. She was detained and taken for a mental health evaluation. Basically though, she has she can't stay longer than 72 hours. It's a 72 hour psychiatric hold, but they obviously felt that something wasn't right. It was involuntary, so she she didn't agree to it. Mm -hmm, they of felt, uh, and her parents, we should also point out, live about right a block. There. Yes, they live about a block from where this fire incident occurred. Um, but like I said before, this is just kind of the most recent incident in a whole string of chaos. Yeah. Take us back to last Thursday. What happened at the Ritz Carlton in New York City? Oh, you guys, chaos. Amanda was, of course, in New York last Thursday. She went to the Ritz Carlton, like you said. Her behavior was so, she was cruel, she was mean, she made the front desk girl cry, said that she would recommend her own uh, plastic surgeon to her, called her so ugly that she didn't feel like she should be helping check her into the hospital. I mean, into, into, the, the, hotel, into the hotel, I'm sorry. Ah, and then she ordered $2,300 worth of room service. That's a lot That's of room food. service. And I think it is important to point out, I've actually stayed at this hotel before and I was blown away at how pricey their room service menu is. Not to mention there's of course the fees for bringing it up to your room and right, the convenience right. and whatnot. But still, $2,300 worth of food, that could feed you know uh, an army of people. I mean, it's, a, it's absurd. And then I don't know what's going on with this whole Vanity Fair manifesto that they are claiming is Amanda Bynes, but if it is Amanda Bynes, she actually took to Vanity Fair to, to uh, say the prices are astronomical there I was hungry so sue me she yeah. actually said and made a joke about all the about lawsuits so yeah much. so um, basically she was given the boot from the hotel eventually because she was such um, you know I guess a menace you could say she was rude to the staff and apparently she was smoking weed now she did tell TMZ that she was not doing anything of the sort but apparently the Ritz felt comfortable enough to ask her to leave at which point Ooh. she jetted off to LA and then this whole incident occurred on Sunday night at a retirement home, of course, in Thousand Oaks, California. She basically- Close to where this house was. Exactly, close to where the fire incident occurred. So I guess she went to the retirement home, tried to get in there and they said, you look like you're drunk, we're gonna call a cab, you need to leave. She got in a cab, told the cab driver she had, she no, had money. no money. So he obviously gave her the boot. 
she found her way back to the retirement center and apparently she has a relative who lived that's what she was claiming is that yes. there's a relative who of hers there. who's there she's trying to visit she found her way back to the retirement center and they were like we already asked you to leave once so they called the cops she was not arrested i do want to make that clear she was not arrested they instead evaluated her and determined that she was perhaps more well suited in a 5150 psychiatric hold right L uh, last night they did yes that. yes so we really don't know what to make of this. There are some photos of her earlier in the day yesterday in Santa Monica at Bloomingdale's. And you can look, you see her in this weird wig once again, a gray t-shirt no and pants. seemingly no pants. And I yes. think those are slippers or sandals of some sort. Yeah. So very odd behavior. What do you guys think of all of this? Let us know in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe to the channel because we are going to be covering this extensively we yes. are actually putting together a special with some of her former co-workers uh reporters from people magazine who've been following this very very closely so make sure you guys are subscribed we are sending our best wishes to amanda hopefully this is a wake-up call hopefully it is and you know what hopefully the doctors that are treating her and seeing her are able to point her in the right direction and get her back on the road to recovery and to being healthy and to being the, the great, fantastic girl we, we once knew her as. genius actress yes. that we grew up loving. So we are hoping that this really is a wake up call. Yes. Don't forget you guys, comment, let us know what you guys are thinking, leave your well wishes below. Thanks and subscribe. For, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Katie Krause, this is Deidre Behar. We'll see you next time, bye.